Hey there, it's In the Kitchen with Dana, and I'm going to show you how to make cottage fries with supplies you probably don't have in your kitchen. Wait till you see the sophisticated method. Let's take a look. If you have a potato, you have oil, and you have salt, this is your recipe. Check this out. I've cottage cut these fries, but how did I do that? I actually rigged up a cutting board, and the cutting board top is not on here, so I'm using the inside of this. I'm taking my Dollar Tree cutter here and putting it in, and I'm going to go ahead and wedge away. Woo, look at those potatoes fly. This is just so easy. And notice that it's clinging against the front so I'm not having any problems. And when I'm done, these are going in here. I add a little oil. Wait till you see my shaking method. I'm adding a pinch of smoked sea salt, so these will be really good. This is from Pampered Chef, it's my pizza wheel. I'm gonna shake these up, do you like this method? This is so professional, it's unbelievable. Now that they're all mixed up, wow, they're set to go. That was my mixer, nice thick cottage fries, potatoes. And these are great chips, they'll crisp up about 30 minutes in the oven and these will be just like the greatest bag of potato chips that you buy in the store, except guess what? It was made in your kitchen so it's all natural. And if you want, you can sprinkle just a tad more of this on, but you don't want to go heavy because it's a strong flavor. So this is In the Kitchen with Dana, making cottage potato chip french fries.